I converted my Ancestry DNA file format to 23andMe using the DNA Genix DNA Kit Studio Raw Converter Tool. I then ran the results with Eurogene K13 Extended Oracle in DNA Genix Admixture Studio, Eurogene's K13 in GEDmatch, Eurogene's K13 updated in Bahaduo, and my true ancestry. The 23andMe conversion gives me more East Mediterranean and increases my Lebanese Druze and makes me closer to Italian Jewish. I also get more Amorites and Canaanites and Semites in the My True Ancestry Ancient sam Sample Breakdown. Samaritan shows up in my top 20 in GEDmatch. I am not saying that the 23andMe version is more or less accurate than the original Ancestry DNA data, but I do want to share the results. In fact, it may, be, uh, it may be less accurate because there is a bit more distance compared to uh, the, the original Ancestry DNA data, but I think their results are interesting. And I've also seen other uh, users who tend to get, especially Ashkenazi like myself, Ashkenazi like myself, who tend to get a bit more uh, East Mediterranean with 23andMe, a bit closer to the Levant and closer to other Levantine populations and other Jewish populations compared to ancestry. Um, so again, I'm not making a necessarily making a judgment on what is more accurate or less accurate, but I do want to share the results. And I also think this uh, DNA Kit Studio is a cool uh, tool that is very useful. And uh, you can just see here's the page, the raw converter, the tool converts a raw VCF to other uh, raw file formats such as 23andMe. Um, FTDNA, Ancestry, et cetera, the, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's, it's actually, that's not what it looks like now um, on the actual, uh, on the actual app, uh, program, there's an update. So this is not just the VC, there's a separate tab for VCF files um, that you can use uh, from Nebula, Dante Labs, D and DNA Lab. I did try my VCF file from Nebula and it is not, it's, it's a big mess. It's, uh, I think there's just a lot of uh, uh, SMPs that are missing and miscategorized and the ethnic ethnicity breakdown is really off um, when you do that. So I don't recommend doing the, the VCF conversion, but I do recommend doing the, the converting your ancestry to 23andMe and checking out the results. Um, so you can see the file input, the input, the, the, the raw data output, um, and it's pretty fairly quickly. So yeah, you could see Windows graphical application, it convert and analyze DNA raw data from several DTC DNA companies, 23andMe. Uh, I believe it's, uh, I believe it's version three, uh, that way, uh, the, uh, that the, uh, file format conversion was done under. Um, and again, my, my ancestry, I believe is version one from, uh, cause I took the test in 2014. So anyway, it's really cool. I really recommend it. I'll leave a link to it as well and give some instructions there. But again, DNA kit studio, um, I believe it's version 2.8. Uh, and then I just want to quickly go over some of my results. So here's with the Eurogenes extended Oracle. The 38.86% East Med is, uh, is a few percent, percent points higher than uh, my original Ancestry DNA uh, upload. So, and I just want to show the mix mode. Mix mode, you could see 56.64% Lebanese Druze plus 43.36% Swiss Italian at 6.604. The distance is also a couple one or two percentage points higher. So again, a, a little bit more distance. So maybe not as ac completely as accurate as Ancestry DNA, but I thought it's interesting to share the results again, nonetheless. Um, so there you go. You can see the consistency there for Lebanese Druze and Northern Italian populations. And, uh, and then there's least squares method, one uh, population approximation. You can see Ashkenazi there number one, and then I get, uh, I usually don't get this, but with uh, Ancestry DNA data, but Italian Jewish shows up for me at number two. And then Malta, Campania, 
Calabria, Greek or Idris Island, Sephardic Jewish, East Sicilian, Molise, and then Moroccan Jewish to round out the top 10. And that's in the DNA Genix Admixture Studio. And let's see. Yeah, so here's, again, there, there's the East Med there, 38.86% per, per, 38 with 20, the 23 me conversion. And this is with Ancestry, 36.84% East Med. So not, again, not much difference. Uh, you can see only about uh, a lot more SMPs were, are used with the... Uh, uh, with ancestry and the the geno the genotype uh, ratio is more ninety four point eleven percent. So anyway, you know thirty point seventy one percent genotype ratio. So yeah, so not as many S and P's used, but I, anyway, I thought it's again I just wanted to share the results because I think they're kind of interesting. And uh, here is with uh, my true ancestry with the 23andMe upload, uh, you can see it gives me more Amorites and Canaanites and Semites. So you have Romans, Hellenic Romans, Hittites and Amorites and Canaanites and Semites, and Roman Hispania, Ancient Greeks, Philistines, etc. And then my modern uh, populations, uh, I get Italian Jewish in the top eight. And uh, at a distance of 11.31. So, um, so you see East Sicilian, South Italian, Greek, Crete, Ashkenazi, Central Greek, West Sicilian, Italian Abruzzo, and Italian Jewish. And this is a G G a Jed match. And you can see with Jed match, the it's thirty. The East Med is thirty nine point thirty two. You can see the rest of the uh, breakdown there. And then, oops, <laughs> let me do that again. So, uh, my bad, got to go uh, horizontal, not vertical. So there you go, East Med 39.32. Again, it's a little bit higher than Ancestry, but again, less SMPs used and uh, the genotype ratio is less. Uh, and then this is the uh, top 20 there distance. See Ashkenazi there at 6.7. Um, and there's Italian Jewish, East Sicilian, Sephardic Jewish. Let's see. Ashkenazi, Italian Jewish, East Sicilian, Sephardic Jewish, South Italian, Central Greek, Algerian Jewish, West Sicilian, Italian Abruzzo, Tunisian Jewish, Greek Thessaly, Libyan Jewish, Cyprian, Tuscan, Lebanese Muslim, Lebanese Druze, Syrian, Bulgarian, Palestinian. And again, I, I, uh, Samaritan at my top 20, my number 20. I usually, uh, with Ancestry, I, I, did, I didn't get Samaritan uh, at number 20 at a distance of 21.54. And again, they're basically pure Israelite Canaanite population and uh, Ashkenazi Jews are obviously more mixed. Uh, and there's the primary, the mixed mode. Um, you can see Ashkenazi, 89.6%. 10 point, secondary population, 10.4% Lebanese Druze, a distance of 6.34. Again, the distance is, again, I, I've said this many times, but it's a, it is a bit higher. Um, so you can see it's all Ashkenazi primary populations and then the secondary populations, uh, mostly Middle Eastern, Lebanese Druze, Iranian Jewish, Yemenite Jewish, Lebanese Christian, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Syrian, Palestinian. And... This is the, the one population approximation. Let me say I get Jordini in there at number 20 instead of uh, Samaritan. And then 50% uh, Ashkenazi plus 50% Ashkenazi, 50% Italian Jewish plus 25% Lebanese Druze plus 25% Serbian. And then the four population approximation Hungarian plus Italian Jewish plus Italian Jewish plus Lebanese Druze at 7.055989. And you can see going on down. So anyway, just uh, wanted to share those results. Thanks for watching.